a time of highs and lows, of joy and depression, of rushing when we want to stand still. Within the Christmas story itself, we find opposites. Angels, heaven's most glorious citizens, mix and mingle with shepherds, Bethlehem's least. The God who chose to partner with an unwed mother and be born in a barn uses shepherds, the outcasts of the day, to be the first to hear the news that Emmanuel has come. The world has a habit of creating gloomy clouds and of discarding what doesn't fit. Our God does the opposite. Isaiah 11 says, He tends his flock like a shepherd. He gathers the lambs in his arms and carries them close to his heart. God sends angels to shepherds and gathers in what the world throws out. God restores people to health and heals their wounds because they are called outcasts, according to Jeremiah 30, 17, and according to the one night in Bethlehem. In these final days leading up to Christmas, we see angels visiting shepherds, and we remember that God cares for us as lambs. God loves when we do not. God calls us to love everyone, no matter what. We light this candle for every child of God who has known what it's like to be an outcast. And we light this candle for every child of God who has known. We light this candle in acknowledgement that God does not shut out but welcome in. We light these candles as symbols of God's light shining in the darkness. A very long, long time ago, God said, let there be light, and there was light. Let us pray. Dear God, you are the light of the world. In you, there is no darkness at all. There are no outcasts. No one who is not good enough. As we continue on our journey through Advent, help us to remember that those who the world says do not belong, you welcome with open arms. In Jesus' name.